Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to the Edgar O World, and welcome back to the House of Nightmares. Alright, so in today's video, I'm just gonna get straight to the point because we already know what this video is about. In today's video, we're gonna do a part 3 of me reacting to my subscribers, which is you guys, Chucky Collection or Horror Collection. Now, this is part 3 and I gotta say, the messages just keep coming, just keep coming and I just, I love it. I love it. I like when you guys share your collections with me, so most likely there is gonna be a part 4 um, or like I said, like I said before, we could turn this into a little a little series, if that makes any sense. So yeah, that's what this video is going to be about. It's going to be part three. Now, if your collection doesn't make it in part three, it's because I'm going in order. So if you barely send your collection, it most likely won't make it until part four. I am going to get to as many collections as I possibly can without making the video too long. Even though a lot of you said that you guys will watch a really long video of these. So we're going to... We're gonna try to make it a little bit longer than the last one, but not super, super long. So let me grab my phone, let me log in, and let's jump right into the video. Okay, so before I do begin with the video, I do wanna give a special shout out, or I should say uh, c the correct credit to somebody who sent me a Chucky collection. Now, somebody sent me a Chucky collection and I put it in my last video, uh, but that person who sent me that collection, that wasn't their collection. It was actually somebody else's collection, and so they pretty much took uh, their picture, posted it on their Instagram, posting to be their collection, which, um, that's not very nice. And actually, a lot of you guys pointed that out. A lot of you guys told me, like, that's not that person's collection. And the owner of that Chucky collection actually uh, commented on my Instagram post and said it is actually my collection. So I do want to give this person the correct credit that they deserve because their Chucky collection is amazing. And this person goes by the name of Chucky Fan underscore, I believe that's 1 1 or LOL. I don't want to pronounce it wrong, but yeah, that's their Instagram page. Uh, he is a huge Chucky fan, which I am in love with. I'm in love with your Chucky collection. It's just amazing. So, like I said, I am going to give you credits because um yeah i wouldn't want somebody to take my collection and say hey this is my collection and it's really not your collection so i will leave his instagram page and his youtube account in the description down below if you guys want to check it out so yeah that is pretty much it we're gonna jump right into other people's collections and let's begin all right you guys well i did have to move i did have to scoot a little bit back the camera is so far away uh and the ring light is kind of blinding me so uh bear with me but i came all the way over here because i've noticed when i show the other pictures i don't have this much space to show the pictures and i want to show as much as i can of the pictures. so this is why i'm all the way on the screen over here <laughs> So I can be able to show the picture right here more. So yeah, that is why I'm all the way over here. All right, you guys, jumping on to the first Chucky collection. And this comes from a username by the name of Ted Lasty. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but this is what their Chucky collection looks like. Ooh, okay. So, okay, love the poster. I love the custom-made good guy box with the actual good guy doll it's actually a picture of that and i can tell it looks custom made because it looks like it has tape around the box so that's the impression that i'm getting that it's a custom made box and then you have another good guy box in the bottom and then of course you have the checky collection the movie um yeah this is a really this is a really nice small but very nice Chucky collection. All right, you guys, moving on to the next one. And the next Chucky collection comes from a username by the name of Just Billy. I'm not gonna pronounce your username because I don't wanna say it incorrect, but it's something with Santana. All right, and your Chucky collection looks like this. Oh, okay. I really like, the first thing that I saw was that pillow. Uh, that looks like a pillow, right? That's a really, that's a really cool pillowcase. I like that pillowcase. You got the burst of box, the I can talk Chucky, and then I think you have a vinyl in the back. Is that a vinyl? I'm not sure if that's a vinyl, but I really like that picture of the Chucky doll. Or the Chucky from the first Child's Play movie. And then you have a cool phone case of Chucky. 
which is what I want to get. I want to get a chuggy phone case for my phone, but I don't know. I guess I'm just too bougie with these uh, with these cases. But um, yeah, this is a really cool collection. Again, it's a small but really nice collection. I like it, especially that pillowcase. All right, you guys, moving on to the next Chucky collection. And this one comes from a user named by Alicia Arnold 96. And your Chucky collection looks like this. Oh, okay. So you have the Child's Play 3. I can talk Chucky doll. That's one of my favorite Chucky dolls. That is definitely one of my very, very first, well, not first, but one of my very favorite Chucky dolls. I really like that Chucky doll. So. And then, of course, you have the Spencer's Talking Chucky doll. Now, I every time I see somebody with these Chucky dolls, I always wonder, do you guys take them out of the box and then throw the box away? Or do you guys keep the box? Because personally, mine is in its box. But even if I took them out of the box, I don't think I would throw away the box. But... That's a really cool one. They do have two versions. This is the old school version and the, they came up with a new version last year. And then you got the Funko Pop. And then what's that next to the Funko Pop? Is that a coin? Is that a Chucky coin? I don't think I've ever seen a Chucky coin. And then you got the infamous Scar Chucky doll with the one that comes in the black box with the blood dripping down, which I am not a big fan of. I don't like the design of the box. But um, yeah, this is again, it's a it's a small but a really nice collection, and I like the pillows. I think I think this is like a nice horror, but yet kind of glamorous collection, if that makes sense. My type of collection, I like it. All right, you guys, moving on to the next one, and this one comes from Danny702, and his collection looks like this. Whoa! <laughs> wow! I am speechless. Okay, wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This collection just got so much better because I can tell on your screen, on your TV, you're watching the Edgar O video. This collection gets an, this collection gets two thumbs up. <laughs> wow, no, but let me get back to the collection. Wow, this is a really nice collection. I really, really like the setup the way that it looks i never thought about putting the chucky boxes sideways with the picture on the side and then i can tell you took them out of the box and you put them inside glass boxes correct wow that is really nice i've never seen the 15 inch chucky dolls in glass boxes that size this is a really cool chucky collection I'm a really big fan of the way that it's displayed. I really like how you hanged the little plushies. That is a really cool idea. I like how you have some on the on the side next to the TV, the mask, and then you have those little Chucky dolls. And then on top of the Trick or Treat Studios, good guy doll, you have another Chucky doll, the little tiny one. So I like the details that you put, that you actually have. In your Chucky collection. Wow, Danny, this is a really nice collection. Not just a nice collection, the way that it's set up. I really like the way that you organize your Chucky collection. And then you add your little, you know, your little fly Nike shoes on the side. So it's I'm mad at that. <laughs> wow, Danny, your collection gets an A plus plus plus. Good job. Not only do you collect Chucky dolls, but we're going to do a honor mention. You actually collect Funko Pops. And this is your Funko Pop collection. And I've noticed that you have all of the Chucky Funko Pops. See, you are a true Chucky collector. And this is, this is really, this is really cool. I like it. Personally, I wouldn't collect Funko Pops a lot because I, I'm not a really huge fan of Funko Pops. But um, I would do just the chunky ones. But yeah, this is, keep it up, man. This is really, this is really, really good. All right, you guys, moving on to the next Chucky collection. And this one comes from a username by the name of Chucky's World. And his Chucky collection looks like this. Oh, so you got a lot of the little ones. And of course, like I've mentioned, you also take them out of the box, but you like to display them. You know, I don't have a problem taking them out of the box. Personally, I feel like once you take them out of the box, it loses its value, especially if you're gonna sell them. But if you're a person who's never gonna sell your Chucky dolls, you just wanna display them and have them displayed, this is this is definitely the way to go to. But 
um yeah this is this is really this is really cool like watching all the chucky dolls just propped up like that it's really really cool and i like the the burnt chucky and the burnt tiffany that is really really cool i think sooner or later naka or trick or studios are gonna start coming out with burnt tiffany's and chucky dolls from see the uh, bride of chucky so you did send me uh different pictures let's click on another one whoa wait 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 hold on let me let me marinate this picture because it's a lot of things going on right here okay so you got two life size of what it looks like bride of chucky right the scar chucky dolls i know this one is a uh, really old school vintage chucky doll the one standing up but the one sitting down i've never seen something like that is this like a custom made because that's a really really nice chucky you guys i'm not gonna lie when i see collections like this it really makes me <laughs> it really puts my chucky collection to shame because it's like wow these are really really cool even though i do have um most of these chucky dolls except for like three uh, which obviously the life-size ones and the one holding the gun that's a really vintage old school not really hard to find but very expensive when you find it chucky doll that's a really cool collection but i want to know chucky's world <laughs> chucky's world right um do you throw away the boxes or do you keep the boxes i've always been curious about people who take them out of the box and display them like that what do you guys do with the boxes wow this is <sighs> This is mesmerizing. Like, I can stare at this picture for a very, a very long time. Wow. Wow, Chucky's World. Congratulations. You have an amazing Chucky collection. And I like it. All right, you guys. Moving on to the next Chucky collection. And this is from a username by the name of Who Ate the Beans. <laughs> All right. And your collection looks like this. Oh, well, he's... At least you got the good guy doll from Trick or Treat Studios. That's the most expensive Chucky doll that a lot of people can't really afford because it is $500. But you got a nice decent amount of Chucky dolls. So from the looks of this, you're a Pennywise fan, a Michael Myers fan, but you are mostly a Chucky fan because you have most of Chucky products like the cereal, the Funko Pop, and the other Chucky doll with the blood dripping down. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the way to start. You start off with one Chucky doll, then you move on to the next one, and then you buy the biggest one you can afford, which is the $500 Chucky doll, the good guy doll. This is a, this is a neat collection. I dig it. All right, you guys, moving on to the next Chucky collection, and this comes from a username by the name of Colt5699, and your collection looks like this. Wait. <laughs> Wait, 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 hold on. So pretty much this whole entire collection is made out of paper, cardboard, and boxes. And I am here for it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I am not mad at this collection at all. This is something I would probably do during this time, quarantine time, is create something out of paper, which is, this is actually really nice. It's creative in its own way. So honestly, I'm not mad at this. This is really, really cute. Wow, Cold 5699. I hope one day you can make me a Chucky doll like the one you have down there for my collection i would definitely appreciate it and put it in my collection nice collection all right you guys moving on to the next chucky collection and this comes from a username by the name of luke's stokes six and his collection looks like this oh okay another person that likes to use what they can to create a chucky doll which are two styrofoam mannequins that's genius but the most important piece right here is the spencer's good guy chucky doll that we all love and we all have and i can i see that you have the chucky cereal with a bunch of signatures now i really can't see who's the person that signed these oh okay alex vincent andy wow you consider yourself very very lucky because who wouldn't want to have something autographed by alex himself but this is a really nice chucky collection i see you have the the tv series or the tvt's chucky t-shirts wow look i am jealous of your chucky cereal because it's signed by alex but this is a really nice uh collection <laughs> and your styrofoam heads genius all right you guys moving on to the next chucky collection and this comes from a username by the name of good guy cam 
which I already know who this is. This is Louis the Videos. His collection doesn't need no introduction. It is one of the best ones out there, but let's check it out and let's see what he sent to me. Wow, I am obsessed. I'm obsessed with his life-size Chucky collection. Now, let's take a moment to marinate this life-size collection. Now, I know Louis did uh, win a contest that AMC was having when the first Child's Play movie came out. He did win uh, the life-size buddy doll. For whatever reason, he had to get rid of it, or he, I think he said he sold it, and then he was able to get another one. Now, personally, I think I like the other buddy doll that he had better than this one, but this one is really, really nice. Don't get me wrong, this is a really, really nice. Uh, but his most popular life-size Chucky doll is the one next to it, which is the Scar one. And I think this one's custom-made. I think uh, he bought the parts from different uh, from different people and he was able to do this life-size Chucky doll. And this is a really, really nice life-size collection. I love it. All right, let's move on to the next picture. And the next picture looks like this. Whoa, your collection is getting bigger and bigger that is the way to go okay the first thing that i saw right here is i am ob obsessed with the play paw toys truck in that corner that is really really cool that's a really cool toy which i'm pretty sure it was custom made because i don't think i've ever seen a company come up with that so that is a really really cool truck they really should be making these type of toys because I think us as Chucky fans, we would buy these type of trucks, uh, these type of toys, I should say. Okay, another thing that I noticed, and I'm, I really like this Chucky doll, it's the one that he bought from, I think it was Mexico City. I don't remember, but it's the one right here on the left hand side, bottom corner, in the box, in the yellow box. It looks, it looks funny but it looks really cool like i actually want to get one of these for my collection and this chucky doll kind of reminds me of the happy monster chucky dolls it's like its own little version i don't want to say the pool lake version but it's kind of like its own little version of the the other ones and last but not least i'm obsessed with that ceramic piece this is a really nice ceramic piece i know they sell them from china i think there's this website uh, where you could get this, but they want like $350. I'd rather buy a life size than this one. But I really, I really like that ceramic piece. Overall, this collection looks really, looks really, really good, Louis. I really like this collection. And you are going the right way. All right, and I know we have one more picture from him, and it looks like this. Oh, so this is the section where we get to see the, the, um, 15 inch plus the life size and then the other ones that have come out i really like how all of this is just display it looks really nice i like how you have your pictures that you took with the actors i like the paintings that people do for you the drawings just everything in here is propped up perfectly and beautifully i like this wow this is a really nice collection and i'm telling you guys the more you the more you buy chucky does the more it gets addicting and it just becomes this thing like oh my god i just want to keep buying more chucky dolls and i want to have more of a collection now it just becomes a habit of buying more chucky dolls and you just want to have them all but you have to you have to want to be a collector to have something like this so luis si estás viendo este video me gusta mucho tu colección e sigue colectando más because it's really nice collection i like it all right you guys moving on to the next chucky collection now this is going to be the last one i open because i feel like we we actually got two more chucky collections this time than last time so there is going to be a part four because there's so many more messages <sighs> but i like it i like when you guys send your messages and i just really like opening your pictures and just seeing the amount of chucky fans out there so this is this is one of the best videos I have ever created. So let's open this next one. Now the next one comes from username. I don't want to mispronounce this username, but it's T S A I underscore Bernie. And he says he's from Taiwan. Whoa, Taiwan. You watch my YouTube channel from Taiwan. That's amazing. Thank you. All right. So you did send me a lot of pictures. 
I'm gonna try to open as many as possible. So let me click on the first one. You said you have custom made that you made these. So let's open up the first one and see how it looks like. Oh, okay. I I see what you mean by custom made. Wow, that's really that's a really cool custom made. Now, you guys do not kill me for this, but personally, this is my least favorite Chucky prop in the Chucky world. Like. I don't like this Chucky prop from the movie. I don't, I, they should have came up with something different. But anyways, uh, but it looks really, really cool. It looks really, really nice. Um, I like it. You have a really cool imagination. And this is, this is really cool. I wouldn't have patience to do something like this. But this is really, really nice. All right, so the next picture that I'm going to open looks like this. Whoa, wait a minute. You made this Chucky doll? What about the paintings? I'm more interested in the paintings. Wow, that's a really, really nice Chucky doll. Like, if you made this, this is really, really nice. Especially those two paintings or those two drawings. You guys, this is really, really nice. I really, really like those paintings or the drawings. But I want to know, did you make those paintings or those drawings? Because those are really super nice talent this is a really nice chucky doll i really like this chucky doll especially if you made it talents all right let me open one more oh okay and of course you have uh one of the 15 inch chucky dolls with uh the stuff that you actually made wow this is really this is really nice i wish I wish I had the patience and the talent to create my own Chucky doll because I've seen a lot of people trying to make their own Chucky dolls and that's really, really super dope. Personally, for me, I don't think I have the patience and plus I'm just too, too, too busy. If I start a project, I'll never finish it. But wow, this is a really nice um, custom made. Good job. And thank you for watching me all the way from Taiwan. It's crazy. Wow, you guys, I cannot believe how many Chucky collections we just saw. It is so crazy to think that there's a lot more people out there who have so many more Chucky collections out there, so many Chucky dolls in the world. I mean, you've just seen people from like Taiwan and other places around the country, around the world, just love Chucky. That honestly makes me feel good about myself and about my collection because I, like I said, I thought I was probably the only person collecting Chucky dolls back in the days and as I get older, I notice that it's not just me. I'm not alone in the Chucky world. It's actually, it's actually a lot of us. And I gotta say, I am so happy to be part of the Chucky Cool Club because I don't know, it's what makes me happy. I collect Chucky dolls because I think Chucky's just badass. He's really cool and an amazing character. And collecting Chucky dolls makes me happy in a weird way, right? Like you guys collect Chucky dolls because why? Because it makes it makes you happy, right? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying, but yeah, just I just love collecting Chucky dolls and I don't think I'm ever gonna stop. I could be 72 years old if somebody comes out with a Chucky doll by the time I'm 72 years old I'm gonna take my old butt to the store and I'm gonna get it or whatever the case is but I really had a lot of fun opening these Chucky collections to be honest and I just noticed that my lights <laughs> every time they turn a different color that means the battery is running low so Time to get new batteries. But anyways, wow, you guys. Well, I am so glad that I got to do part three. And I can't wait to do part four because there's a lot more messages. And I know there's a lot more Chucky collections. Remember, if you're going to send me your Chucky collection, it has to be in a picture format. Do not record it. Do not send a video picture. But all right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Because I really do appreciate that. And if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Edgar Oh, and I would love to have you part of my Chucky world, my Chucky family, just part of my family, period. So if you are new to my channel, don't flick, don't flick a little, <laughs> don't forget to click that subscriber button to be part of the O family. If you are not new to my channel and you are a regular, welcome. Well, thank you for coming back. Also, don't forget to click that bell button to get notified for every single time I upload, which is once a week. But alright, you guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.